bunch of scruffy boys, poor, playing guitar in their bedrooms, form a band, turn into a big rock band, have their little squabbles and break up. People say to me, what happened to The Clash? Why did they break up? It's an epic journey that, that everybody went on. There's people destroying themselves. He'd borrow any note off you for approximately three minutes. You're too messed up, man. There's rivalries. Now they're arguing with each other. Bernie Rhodes factor. Bernie, 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 Bernie! He only understood this sort of conflict management. Then he went to the others and went, look what Mick's done. You know, there's betrayal. And it fucked everything up. At that point, they were going to become the biggest band in the world. Wow, you guys really made it. He started living the pop star life that they were making fun of, and so that became sort of dangerous. Mixed days were numbered. There was serious conversation about what's going to happen next. Cosmo saying to Joe, he's got to go. Mick just came up to me and he went, you're not going to believe this. They just sacked me from my own band. The Clash as a band were doomed. It took two people to replace Mick. Conspiring in corners. And there were so many secrets. A lot of character assassinations. You wore a check shirt. What fucking band do you think this is? Big country? Paul didn't say much. He was happy just to stand there, follow Joe. Bernie was in the control room and he, he wanted to change it, make it different. It was Joe trying to keep the thing going on his own. He said to me in Munich, I have to believe that this is the right thing to do. At about midnight, he says, I've got a big problem. This shit was going to hit the fan. I mean, it was too late. It was too late. Obviously, Joe had stopped believing. Even rock and roll is a con. I, I think we should just stop. <laughs> <laughs>